What's up guys? Today on Inside the Beard Industry, we're talking about beard growth supplements, serums, oils, pills, all that jazz, coming up. Welcome back guys, Randy here from Beard Booze, of course, with another Inside the Beard Industry. I hope you're all doing well and had a great week. Today we're talking about beard growth supplements and why I think they're bullshit. And if you sell them, you're a piece of shit. You might say, Randy, that's harsh. Well, I don't think it's that harsh. What I think is harsh is taking advantage of people and exploiting their insecurities. You know, guys, more than anything, message me and in the comments on Facebook, YouTube, anywhere, the biggest question I get is, how do I fill in these patches? How do I grow a better beard? How do I make my beard grow faster? And honestly, there's nothing you can do. It's mostly genetics. You know, you can make it grow a little tiny, incy wincy bit faster using biotin and vitamins and things like that, but if you're eating a healthy diet, that's not really gonna make much of a difference. So yeah, maybe it's harsh, but I think it's bullshit to exploit people's wants and needs and desires and exploit their self-consciousness about their beard because they want something so bad, they're willing to pay whatever the amount is in hopes that it will work. And then they post these before and afters of their buddies from their Facebook group Oh, 90 days on this and that, beard power 9,000. Look at the difference. Well, no shit. that's three months of growth. You have a great beard, of course it's gonna get longer. What's it gonna do, not grow? It, I wish you guys realized how hard it is not to make hair grow. There's a whole nother industry based on making hairs not grow. You know, nair and all that jazz, hair's gonna grow. And I know I'm wound up about this, but this is a pet peeve of mine. It gets me really aggravated and agitated. You know, make a good product and market that product. Don't exploit people and their insecurities and all that stuff just to make a buck, just to make a dollar when you know it doesn't work. You know how I know it doesn't work? Because the people selling it have beards than the people they're trying to sell it to. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. If it worked, all of us would be walking around looking like Jeff Lagnum, huge ass beards looking like a lion. But the fact is, it doesn't work. And it's so aggravating because it makes the whole beard industry look bad. People think it's a joke. Oh, they're out here selling snake oil. No, we're not. We're making products that are actually designed and work for what they do. You know, moisturize the skin, condition the hair, help you make it look nice. You know, we don't claim that it helps it grow. So making these claims, making such claims that are not backed by any clinical studies or have any kind of backing like that is detrimental to the industry and it's taking advantage of people and taking money out of their pockets that they could spend on things that they really need. And this is the one that really takes the cake and I want you guys to realize and know about it and be aware of it because it can really harm you if you use it and it has bad side effects. So the claim is three years in the making, we have finally released the first of its kind, combining the best carrier oils for hair growth with topical DHT inhibitor, RU58841. DHT inhibitor, let that sink in for a second. DHT is the chemical solely responsible for beard growth. It's responsible, it's literally the chemical that causes beard growth. So the reason why I think this guy's a little mixed up and I could see the error he made is DHT blocker is for people with male pattern baldness. As you guys know, and if you watch some of these older videos, I'll link them, the same chemical that causes baldness is responsible for hair growth and how your androgen receptors in your skin reacts to the DHT. So that's the first issue. Now, RU58841 is a medical substance and you should not use this stuff just willy-nilly. It has real side effects. You're gonna kill someone. They can cause man boobs. It will literally make your beard fall out because it has a DHT blocker in it. Now, just a quick Google search. It's known as a non-steroidal anti-androgen. Androgens are the chemicals that cause beard growth. Your androgen receptors on your face is what causes the beard growth. So why would you want an anti-androgen? Just doesn't make any sense. Now the substance is claimed and sold as a research compound. Why would you sell people these things that's a research compound? Now, the way it works, people use it for baldness. It's not meant for the face or beards. So. Anyway, let me read it to you. If it is used on the scalp by effectively inactivating DHT receptors, these receptors on your face is what causes beard growth. That's all I'm gonna talk about. If you wanna know more, Google RU58841 and find out for yourself. It's really, really serious stuff. And the fact that a beard company is promoting this stuff just blows my mind. So just really be careful. Do your research on this stuff. I hate to see you guys get taken for your money and now maybe your health and have serious side effects. It just, it's not worth it. 
And it, I know you guys are saying you're going off, you're going crazy, you're ranting, but it's really serious and it's bad for the industry. It's bad. I care about you guys. And I wouldn't keep making these videos if I wasn't passionate about or didn't care about you guys and your well being and want you to improve through my content. So I'm sorry for yelling. I hope you liked the video. I hope you got something out of it. Hit the thumbs up or thumbs down if you hate me. I know you've been thumbing me down and that's good. If I'm pissing you off, good. I want to create content that ignites some energy, ignites some emotion. So leave it in the comments. Let me know what's up. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.